That's a very good question, and especially asking it to me as I live and work in Mexico City. So, um, well, asthma is a disease um, based on inflammation of the lungs. So, so because of the lungs, the inflammation of the lungs, they become more sensitive. And if you have more sensitive lungs and you inhale air pollution, surely this is an extra factor that makes the lungs react and become worse. So people start coughing, people start uh, getting difficulties with, with breathing when the air pollution goes up. And we can clearly see that in Mexico City, yeah. This is another kind of getting more irritants into the lungs. So again, if you have asthma, you have sensitive lungs and you get, uh, or actively smoking or even passively smoking. You know, if your parents smoke or if your, your partner smokes, um, this irritant air into your lungs, again, the asthma symptoms become worse. And, and it's been shown very well that if um, adolescents, for example, with asthma, are taught about the bad influence that smoking has on their lungs and, and they really try to avoid being exposed to smoke, they really get better and they have less symptoms. Asthma is not one and the same disease. No, and we call it and that you have different phenotypes of asthma. So there's an asthmatic patient who becomes asthmatic because he has allergy, no, because he has too much sensitivity to certain houses mite or, or, or pollens, and that is the cause why his lungs are inflamed. But there's other types of asthma, for example, in obese people. Now, people with obesity, there it's another kind of, of asthma. That's asthma because of obesity. Then there's occupational asthma. You know, people who have asthma because they're exposed during their work to inhalants that irritate their lungs. So there are different kinds of asthma and not all those different kinds of asthma should be treated exactly the same way. And that's where you get the problem if you have severe asthma. So if you have allergic severe asthma, then a certain new drug very directed towards allergy would be good for this allergic asthma, but not for the occupational asthma. So that's why the biomarkers may help us to, to differentiate which kind of asthma exactly has the patient. Yeah, this is always the big struggle um, between allergists, us allergists and, for example, pneumologists. If it's an allergic asthma, and from the very beginning of this asthma, you give this patient immunotherapy, now you give the patient the treatment against his allergy, so you can lower the allergic component. The patient gets exposed to houses mite, for example, but now does not react to the houses mite anymore. Well, I think you can call that asthma cured. Now, because he was allergic to houses mite and inhaling, he got asthma. But after giving one, two, three years of immunotherapy, he is inhaling again the, uh, the house's mite, but now there's no symptoms anymore. Okay, then I stop immunotherapy. Some people after 10, 15 years, again become sensitized to house's mite. So again, start with symptoms. And then this is the big question, well, do you call this cured or do you call this only stabilized for some years, 15 years, and the disease comes back again. So, so I think it's, it's a little bit more of semantics. I think if, if you leave a patient for 10, 15 years without symptoms, I call that cured. 